the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation have been a, a strong supporter of, of all the, the, the Russ work. But um, over the last few years, we've, we've also seen DFID from the, the UK come in as a, a co-funder for, for, for this work. It's a fantastic contribution and, and the donors working together in, in this way around critical issues, I think, I think that's, that's really important. But also, certainly for, for the UK, then there's, there's strong gains to, to be made. I mean, we, we have emerging rust problems. We're, we're seeing new races appear in, in East Africa. But these have really strong implications for, for other regions, and that includes Western Europe, but it also includes the, the US. I mean, we're now in a situation where we're, we're looking at extreme vulnerability um, in, in those um, developed country regions to the, the races of, of certainly stem rust that we're, we're seeing in, in East Africa. So this, this large scale vulnerability, it's, it's, it's a real concern. And certainly with, with stem rust, we're now seeing an expansion of, of stem rust in, into new areas and that, that includes Europe. So we're seeing the first instances of stem rust been recorded in, in Western Europe for over 50 years. And this, I, I, I think it's a clear signal that, um, you know, stem rust used to be the, the most feared, the most important disease on wheat crops in both Europe and, and the, the US. But with the, the successes of, I mean, really resistance breeding and be, better management, then that disease was, was essentially eliminated from, from those regions. But yeah, the, the environments are very conducive for, for stem rust. I mean, you, you go back 50 years, then stem rust would have been a big issue throughout most of the US and, and big parts of Western Europe. So now with, we're seeing this resurgence in, in stem rust. We're seeing increasing pathogen populations. We're seeing inoculum sources built, building up. We're seeing um, changes in the, in the pathogen, so we're seeing the emergence of new, new races. And, and really, the, that, the geographical expansion is, is occurring. And also, if we, if, we, if we add in climate change, then the, the most likely scenario is that environments are potentially going to become more suitable for certainly stem rust, which favors you know, warmer con conditions. So to my mind, then investing in efforts, research efforts that we can try and control stem rust populations in, in regions like East, East Africa, I mean, it has huge potential spillover benefits to, to other regions. So I, I, you know, I, I think the involvement of donors like, like DFID, it's, 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 it's very important. I mean, it's, it's certainly it's addressing very serious issues, but it, it also could have these, these spillover benefits for farmers in, well, the UK, but also in, in Western Europe as, as a whole.